Find a wife and three kids. Deputy First Class Glenn Hilliard was shot and killed last night in Wicomico County. And today a procession brought his uh, body from the Eastern Shore to the State Medical Examiner's Office in Maryland. And tonight, WMAR 2 News' Don Harrison shares the emotional news conference from the Wicomico County Sheriff and Governor Hogan. This is the man responsible for the felony murder of a Wicomico County Sheriff's deputy. An emotional sheriff, Michael Lewis, holding the mugshot of Austin Davidson. Police say Davidson killed Deputy First Class Glenn Hilliard, a 10-year veteran of Wicomico County. Sheriff Lewis said police were trying to serve a warrant for Davidson early evening Sunday at the Talbot Apartments in Pittsville. He is wanted in three Eastern Shore counties and Baltimore City. Davidson was arrested for armed robbery of a McDonald's in Baltimore three years ago. When Davidson was arrested, Police asked him why he robbed people at gunpoint at the McDonald's in Baltimore. You want to hear his response? Quote, because I can. Because I can. If that statement isn't shocking enough, some say the sentence Davidson received in the Baltimore crime system is even more disturbing. Probation before judgment for armed robbery with a handgun. Governor Larry Hogan met with Hilliard's wife, Tashika, and their three children Monday. Hilliard's wife wanted the governor to pass on a message. That Glenn Hilliard died doing what he loved. This is just a horrendous crime and tragedy. We have, it happens far too often. Governor Hogan tells us he's been saying for years how Baltimore City crime affects all of us in the entire state. He says this is an example of that. It's something we've been talking about with our uh, increased penalties for uh, repeat offenders and our increased penalties for people who commit crimes with uh, guns uh, that uh, passed the Senate twice but never passed the House because all the leaders of Baltimore City opposed it. Davidson has a long criminal record and Sheriff Lewis says he has been causing havoc on the shore. If we had individuals serving true sentences here in Maryland, our deputy would still be alive. We owe them a tremendous of gratitude for what they do each and every day, all of our law enforcement. The last time a deputy was killed in Wicomico County was in 1968. In Wicomico County, Don Harrison, WMAR 2 News.